Hello and welcome to Synergic Media's D Grow Style series of videos. My name is Ahmad Mukhtar and today I will take you with me on a journey to explore everything about perfumes, particularly for the gentleman because perfumes are equally important for gentlemen as they are for ladies. In today's video what we would know and what I would try to share with you are some interesting facts about perfumes how to use what to use and where to use and in particular i would review and recommend some of the perfumes that you may use in order to enhance your personality i would focus particularly for the south asian men you know my origins uh, because we have a certain or a typical type of skin and then what perfumes could be better on your skins so stay tuned until the end and i'm sure you would gain a lot from this video so to start with do you know why do we use perfume? Is it just to suppress our smells or to express? Not exactly. The perfume is actually a statement of your personality. The perfume is a statement what you want to convey to the others, what people want to know about you. What are your expressions? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you jubilant? Are you in an introspective mode? What exactly are you doing? So that is what basically your perfume conveys about you. It is your not only style statement, but personality statement. So that makes it extremely important. And I always say that particularly for the man, the cherry on the cake for your style and personality is a perfume. So be careful in choosing what you want to convey. Okay, so let's start the journey of the perfume. It started almost 5,000 years ago in Egypt, where even the pharaohs were quite known for the scent scented oils and these type of perfumes. However, the journey of perfume kept on and on. It went from um, Egypt to other parts of the Middle East. At some point in time, it went to Africa as well. But in recent times, particularly the times that we know, the 20th and 21st century, um, the French took it to a new heights. They commercialized it. They really made it something which we know as of today. Now, grass, which is a city in France, is basically a mecca for the perfumes. Do you know that at some point in time, people used to even drink perfumes as a tonic, but of course, not in this intensity or not with the alcoholic contents that we know as of today. Another interesting fact about the perfume is that it is to be used on the skin. I'm saying it particularly for my South Asian uh, friends and colleagues, because most of them actually try to use it on clothes. The real purpose for perfume is a response of that content on your skin. So please don't use on the, on the clothes. It's almost like wasting your money and wasting your perfume. Now we start with how to use the perfume. First, please look at this chart that explain you the different segments or clusters or what we call the classification of perfumes from the lighter or the floral up to the woody or the dark or the strong scents. You can see if a perfume says that it has a floral or let's say oriental or a woody thing, you can easily see that what type of main contents it would contain and what type of smell it would basically produce when you would apply on your skin. The interesting thing is that mostly men don't know where exactly to, to spray the perfume, where to apply on the skin. Now in this photo you can see uh, the parts of body that are hot, that are in red. That means if you would put or apply perfume on the hot parts, it would basically produce much more reaction and it would really be a more scenty or a more, uh, uh, more I don't want to say the fumigative, but it would basically give you the best result of the perfume. So that is your choice. I mean, don't try to put, you know, something under your armpits or um, most of the times we would put on our skin as well, which is okay. But interestingly, if you put on the back of your ears, it, it may be a little bit less annoying for you and for the person that you get close to. So in, in this chart, you can see what are the best um, body parts. But of course, that is as per your convenience. Most of the times, the front part like this one up to the chest and a, a little bit on the back of the neck would be probably the best areas for men to apply. Um, sometimes if you're not wearing clothes like this, you know, the formal clothes you can use on the, um, the lower side of your arms as well. That could equally uh, do. And if you have particularly the oil perfumes, that mean the, the strong ones, normally you have to put just a drop of that. And that would be better if you put 
in, in not really the frontal or let's say the confrontational type of um, uh, positions of your body that means you should either put it under your you know, arms or basically on the back side so that you, your smell does not basically confront the, confront the next person in case he or she does not like that smell so this is just uh, being, being safe in that by the way um, viewers did you ever think that when we test the perfumes why do we put it on, on this side you know why do we smell like this there's actually I don't know whether there's a science in that but it makes a perfect sense because this is the part most of the times where you have the least hair both for men and women and this is probably one of the cleaner parts as well of your body at any given point in time because if you would apply on this side of the hand that may have many contaminations and it may not give you exactly the result that perfume is supposed to give you. most important thing I would say in the start is that you have to discover your own perfume it's a trial and test there is no hard and fast rule a perfume that is best for me could actually be the worst for you so you have to be extra careful while choosing that and the only way is to apply to experiment to test again and again let it solve in your, in your skin let it see how it reacts and then choose it I would always say that try to get the samples if you can from, uh, from wherever whether online or in the stores use that a few times and then see what reaction it gives you whether you like it whether uh, this is fine on your skin do not just go for the big names if i tell you that i, lo I like the tom ford uh, neroli portofino for example my most favorite one that may not actually give you that result that i have so please discover your own perfume test trial and then choose essentially two types of perfumes the alcohol based or let's say the spray perfumes or the oil based perfumes or pure oils now that is your choice most of the Arabian perfumes are oil based and most of the French that we say or the Western or Occidental perfumes are alcohol or the spray based perfumes the only difference is that alcohol is more spreading type of a thing on your body and oil is basically um, on a very specific part of the body that you apply but mostly the oil based perfumes are intense and they're strong as well and oftentimes if it is of a good company it would be expensive also um, again it, it depends you know what type of perfume do you go to and what type of perfume do you want normally the oil based perfumes are strong with a single scent like oud or let's say rose or jasmine type of things while the blends are mostly on the spray uh, type of um, bottles you know guys I always say that do not shy on spending money in the perfumes why because as I said this is your personality statement this basically defines you so even if you think that this is just a spray of that I bought for $200 and you just you know uh, go away like that not at all because your smile would stay with the people that you meet they would define you they would remember you with that scent that you left that is the impression that is actually the first impression and as we say first impression is the last impression but I would say make your first impression as the lasting impression and nothing better than perfume to do it of course prices of perfumes is always a question you can get perfumes even for ten dollars or five dollars or twenty and up to you know there's no limit you have Clive Christian, uh, Clive Christian uh, which could sell even up to half a million dollars you have a, uh, a bottle in Dubai I forgot that has diamonds on it and it is uh, 1.5 million dollars but I would say that a reasonable perfume you know where you could start getting a value should be hundred dollar plus you know that that's the average price it depends on the country but when you would go into the niche class that means normally the perfumes which are around two hundred dollars plus I can guarantee you you are entering into an arena where you would not regret once you start using it so my rule would be or let's say my recommendation would be do not think about price of the perfume think about the value that you get out of it oftentimes we do not pay attention to what is written on the bottle uh, you would see that you could either have or the cologne or the toilet or, or the perfume or sometimes pure perfume or extract the perfume as well in this chart you can see it basically denotes the um, the concentration of perfume or concentration of the real contents in that 
the lowest is eau de cologne followed by eau de toilet and then eau de perfume i would stay only on these three categories although there are many but these are the basic uh, the guideline when you go for that most of the men's perfumes that we say would be eau de toilet but of course for good brands or most of the niche perfumes would be eau de perfume and sometimes or the uh, or extract the perfume as well which is probably one of the highest concentrations you can get you can get and logically uh, the price would start rising you know for example chanel blue you can have or the toilet you can have perfume uh, or the perfume and you can have a pure perfume so the price would rise according to the concentration another thing that you need to know guys is the different types of perfumes or which perfume to use when there is a different different perfume for summers and a different one for winters there is a different one for the day and another one for night normally in the summers and days you use the light floral citrusy type of perfumes while for the nights or for the winters you need dark and strong perfumes i mean that's a very generic type of criteria of course it depends on your personality and then if you go a bit more formal like you're going into a wedding or you're going into a dinner party a black tie dinner you should ideally wear some dark and serious perfumes while if you're going to a beach party or you're going uh, with the friends normally you should do the lighter one or the floral and citrusy type of perfumes when i would review the perfumes in my next episodes or even in this video later on i would explain you which perfume suits which type of um, occasion uh, uh, better and obviously as i said it depends on your personality type it depends what perfume reacts better on you so normally you should have uh, at least three or four different type of perfumes for different type of occasions so that you can have uh, all the classification from the lighter up to the dark or informal or casual up to the formal perfumes okay guys so let's now get down to the to some of the perfumes i'm not really a perfume reviewer per se but i would introduce you to some of the perfumes that i have discovered over time for different type of um, people for different type of occasions and i i have uh, i must confess that these perfumes that I'm going to present are particularly suited or suitable for the South Asian men. As I said, we have a typical type of skin. Not only that we are spicy, we eat spices as well. That makes us spicy. So it means we, we have a certain type of reaction on our skins as compared to, let's say, people from Australia, for example, or people from Peru. So although these perfumes are quite universal and the characteristics that I would explain are universal in nature, but I must confess that the choice that I've got, of course being a South Asian, that is my own choice, is mostly suited for the South Asian people. So to start with, now I didn't want to start with this one, but I understand that if you want to go for less than $100 and just a normal perfume, you know, with any of the designers or something, while I always would say that when you spend some money on perfume, go for those brands which are either cosmetics or perfume brands, do not go for these generic brands like say Zara or H&M or La Costa or something like that because they're not perfumery companies, you know, they're not specialized. So certainly you would not get the value out of that. However, I would say that if you are not convinced with my arguments, if you're not going for the higher value and you want to go for less than $100. So if you, if you want to stay under $100, for, for me, I think the best one is this Hugo Boss Dark Blue. This has been there for, for some time. It has a mix of oriental versus occidental and quite, let's say, reasonable notes. And for gentlemen, this can give you a reasonable statement of personality. But as I said, I would not recommend if you really want to give a style statement. So next we go to some of the established brands or good ones that make perfume. I think nowadays uh, the one that is quite popular is Bleu de Chanel. Um, this is Eau de Perfume. I think this is probably one of the best buys if you want to go for the normal brands or the routine brands. It gives you excellent value if it has fantastic, um, uh, you know, uh, floral notes for, uh, coupled with the sandalwood and uh, oud type of notes as well. It gives you a good value. But I would say that please pay attention and try to buy eau de perfume of uh, Chanel below because the eau de toilet version of this one is quite light. Okay, so next on my list is uh, the perfume. Uh, you might have heard uh, the name Hermes or Hermes, um, Hermes as well in French. Um, this is um, 
in, in my view, quite high level brand and they, they make really good perfumes. Um, in order not to spend a lot of money, I would say that you can try with these colognes, the series of colognes. I've got two, um, one is the Nero Lidore and the other one is Orange Wecht, uh, Odi Orange Wecht. Um, I mean the, the green um, orange and Neroli. These are good scents, although they are Odi colognes, but I would say in terms of the freshness, in terms of immediate statement and in terms of the attractiveness, these series of colognes that Hermes has is quite a good one. Um, I guess the, the, the prices are around $100, so not really a bad deal as well, but it, it gives you quite distinctive and good statement. Okay, next we move on to a perfume that is extremely popular nowadays, and that is Eau Sauvage by Dior, uh, by Dior or Dior as, as you say. Uh, this is quite masculine perfume. It has a good masculine definition. Not only that this is popular nowadays, it has really good top notes, which are citrusy, mandarin, but uh, also uh, very strong with a bit of sandalwood um, and, and the uh, and strong base notes. That gives you a bit of masculinity if you are trying to find that. Um, it is quite mainstream nowadays. I would say quite safe investment as well because um, you would have a good uh, complement of this perfume, but. Again, this is not a niche, this, this may not be outstanding or this will not stand you apart from the crowd because a lot of people are using this. Okay, let me introduce you to another reasonable brand. It's a niche brand, but not very expensive. It's called Bardot, it, it's uh, based in France. Um, and they, they are making perfumes, you know, sometimes quite specialized. Um, this one um, is more, let's say, orange type of, you know, um, main notes, but of course, in this perfume in particular, you have about 27 different notes uh, from the base up to the top notes. Um, and in this one, um, you have uh, amber as a, as a main or outstanding note, but again, it has about 20 plus ones. So in these perfumes, what I would say is that they give you a bit of distinctiveness. They give you some smell that you would not get from the others. And that could be, you know, one type of tick that you want to do when you're trying to be a bit outstanding in terms of your style statement. Okay, now the next on my list is uh, uh, the, the, the brand called Atelier, Col Atelier Cologne. Um, it's basically a very specialized, uh, that means the House of Colognes, a very specialized French company. It produces quite excellent type of perfumes, very distinctive uh, scents. And in particular, if you buy their perfumes, they, they can have uh, they can give you an excellent package with your engraved name on the boxes and so on and so forth. What I have with me it's uh, Bois Blanc. Um, it it, it open up, opens up as a, as a floral type of scent on you, but then when it settles down, since it has some of the spicy type of base notes in that, it gives you a masculine feeling. So. This is quite, let's say, fresh, but it could be in between the fresh and the formal type of things or the dark type of perfumes. A good buy, I would say. Again, not very high in the prices, but quite niche to buy. This, as you know, a um, lot of perfumeries are doing the private collection or the special collection. And in that, what I have found recently is that Lancome, uh, the, the, the French company, you know, which is a cosmetics company, they have started their private series. And what I have with me, it's called Oud Ambroise. That means Amber and Oud. It's a, uh, since it is a private one, it, it's a little bit you know higher in terms of prices. But this is probably one of the best Ouds that I have got. Why? Because it gives you Oud scent, which for many people could be strong, but it would not give you strong feeling because it has Amber, as, as you could see from the name in it. So it gives a very light, acceptable type of food statement, but at the same time extremely strong. By strong, I, I mean it's not stingy, but it stays on you. And in this perfume, what I've seen is that uh, even after 24 hours on your skin, you can feel that you have it. And, and the good thing about this perfume is that it settles very beautifully. Um, after one hour of application, you would see, you would basically start getting into the mass of this perfume. So I really like it. And by the way, this is unisex. I mean, if you buy, even your wife or your partner could use it. Deviate a little bit towards the Middle Eastern perfumes or the Arabic perfumes. Because as you know, the real perfumery in recent times started from the Arabian region. Even now, if you want to go for one of the best perfumes or one of the best contents of the perfumes, 
these are made in the Arabian countries and as I said most of these are oil based but not all of them are oil based let's start you know you could get uh, in, in many of the Arabian perfumeries if you go to uh, UAE or um, Qatar or, or Saudi Arabia you can get you know this type of perfumes uh, uh, in, uh, sorry the oil based perfumes and this type of bottles that they call Tola so in this bottle you would get whatever perfume they have most of the Arabian perfumes are single scented perfumes that means either pure oud, pure rose or these type of things but they have blends as well you can get some of the good blends uh, from a good perfume which is, uh, for example this is a good blend from Qureshi from Saudi Arabia quite expensive you know I mean the, the real contents or real blends are extremely expensive but at the same time you could have some of the uh, blends which are sprayed but not really expensive uh, the one that I particularly uh, like is it's a Bahraini company it's called Beauty Blends uh, very reasonable prices I think um, I don't recall correctly but about 60 to 70 dollars per bottle uh, this one is Oud and Saffron a fantastic mix a good value for money uh, in 60 to 70 dollars and they have many other ones but staying on the blends for me I think the best blend that I've seen in recent times uh, this is a company that hails from UAE from, um, from Dubai and it is called the Beauty Blends now they give you the bottles you know they give you in this type of packing something which is really a unique something that you remember now uh, the, the company I mean the series is called Beauty Blends and they have different ones um, all are named in the name of love for example this one in particular I have uh, is uh, love in English uh, the one that I used recently and I got the most compliments is called Laibe or Laba this is uh, love in German uh, the one that I have uh, still packed it's called Dragosta Dragosta is love in uh, Romanian but the, the, the good thing about these perfumeries uh, these perfumes or the blends is that I have not seen a better combination of contents and the natural or the organic nature of contents than this one in the mainstream blends please try this one I think this is about 600 um, uh, UA dirhams probably around $150 or something but a real value for money staying on the blends in the Middle East this is a relatively new brand it's called Shaikh or basically Sheikh started from Bahrain in 2007 and they perfume I mean they make extremely specialized perfumes this one is called men number 77 I mean look at the bottle by the way this is really a collector's item you, you basically keep it for whole of your life because this is a refillable bottle and you keep in this type of you know boxes you can even engrave your name on that one again a little bit expensive about seven to eight hundred dollars uh, seven to eight hundred dirhams I think UAE uh, but it gives you a fantastic value why because this perfume has a mixture of occidental and oriental scents it gives you taste of both it gives you a uniqueness it gives you a statement it, it gives you masculinity as well that you may not get from one perfume you know it, it, it's quite rare so that is why I normally go for the blends because blends give you really something that you're looking for otherwise you might have to do two or three perfumes in order to create your own blend and you might actually mess up um, in, in terms of using the quantities for that brand. Another brand that I want you to um, consider is called Montal. It's a French brand. They have a huge series of scents. I think they have about 100 blends or scents. Very good one. The one that I use, it's called Daydreams. Again, a unisex perfume. <clears throat> it gives you the top notes of jasmine, but then it goes deep into the agarbo type of thing. Stays on you for a very long time, but be careful. Most of the Montal perfumes are what they call experimental perfumes that means you have to be very brave you have to know what you are wearing so just use this with a bit of caution or let's say try it before buying one of my all-time favorites so let's say one of the most favorite perfumes it's a new brand it hits from the UK you know as compared to all other French type of brands it's called Jo Malone um, it, it's a very new brand the one that I use and I think probably it could be um, forever in your wardrobe at least for me it is always there it's the Oud and Bergamot uh, this is Cologne Intense which is almost equal to Eau de Toilet or a little bit you know more than that um, as the name suggests it has Bergamot and Oud and in one of the best mixes or best blends that one could imagine it stays on you 
quite long. I have seen that it is sometimes more than 24 hours. And for those gentlemen who are young or who are young at heart and thinking to go on date or going out with your partner, this would be one of the best ones and safest in all parts of the world. Every girl or woman is going to like it. Mark my words. Okay, so now we move to the last three or the top three brands that I would do uh, in today's video. Um, these are the brands that for me are top three, at least for the time being, but of course we will go into details in the next videos. Uh, the first and foremost I would say is Tom Ford. Now Tom Ford, as you know, is a designer who designs other things as well, but I think he specializes in perfumes. Um, he, he started, you know, with this type of uh, normal one. This is Black Orchid, uh, quite famous for men. It, you know, this is one of the very unique men perfumes that has a powdery notes, but it has some vanilla as well. And then of course, some of the base notes. This is in terms of uniqueness, one of the most unique ones. Then of course, Tom Ford, like other perfumeries, has its private so what I, I'm using now, which are strong ones, one is the Oud Mineral. It, of course, as the name suggests, it has some of the sea salt and spicy top notes. And of course, Oud as a base one. This is a bit of strong masculine. And most of the time when I use Oud Mineral, I use it with another one, which is more of a floral, let's say a jasmine or rose type of perfume, because purely uh, this perfume on your own, it could be a bit strong. But this one, uh, the Neroli Portofino, it's also from the private collection of Tom Ford. For me, as of now, this is my all-time favorite and the best perfume for me that, uh, let's say, gives better results or the best results on me. Um, it has uh, Neroli as a top note. Of course, it has citrusy notes as well, but it has fantastic agarwood base note. It stays on you even up to 48 hours, it really depends. It is extremely distinctive, elegant, and crisp. The second on my list is a brand which is actually a brand that hails from Oman in Middle East. But of course now they, they have offices in UK and France. That is called Amouage or Amouage. One of the best distinctive perfumes. A bit expensive but absolutely worth for the price. Now what I'm using, uh, in fact, you know, interestingly, um, why I bought my first time watch perfume that was interlude was for the reason that even President Putin is a big fan of that and he uses. But of course, many of the big names use Amwaj as perfumes. Now I have two with me. Um, this one is called Amwaj Thea, uh, which is very open, spicy and, you know, a mandarin um, and citrusy type of uh, top notes. But of course, the base notes are normally always agarwood uh, and, and sandalwood type of uh, base notes and this one is called Lyric by the way both of these perfumes are for men and uh, women as well I mean they have uh, this version for men and there is a Lyric for um, women as well this is largely as you can see uh, a rose based type of perfume but not essentially a rose because of course uh, rose would be too much for men it has again as I said agarwood um, and uh, oud notes as a base notes and gives you a fantastic unique value when you wear this perfume and this is one of the head turner type of perfumes um, they have a library collection as well i don't have with me now i used to have they have about i think eight library collections which are again very distinctive perfumes but i would say that you can try with lyric interlude or dia from their watch let me introduce you to a very new brand um, which is uh, maison francis cardigian uh, francis used to be in a different um, perfume bee company but he started his own company I think back in 2011 now he produces one of the best perfumes on the market because whatever he does he, he's only a perfume rep by the way uh, he does not do anything else but a class a real class in terms of the content in terms of the richness in terms of the the uniqueness and distinctive what I'm using now it's called Oud Silk Mode it is an oud, as you can see from the name, but silk mode means it, it makes you feel light. It has a very good floral presence that mixes with the oud and does not give you that so-called stingy or strong oudy smell. However, if you wear this one, I can guarantee you people would ask you what you are wearing because this is extremely special. 
it is expensive for sure it has to be you know i think this bottle should be about um, 260 or up to 300 euros depending uh, where you buy this one but it is extreme value it gives you something that you really like it gives you something that you want to be of course the question of affordability is a different one so this concludes uh, my review or a rather long video today but i hope you liked it i hope you found something useful particularly for these perfumes if you want to hear something more on the perfumes please write in the comments or write to me directly in the email that i have given in the description of this video uh, and then i will try to come up with a bit more detailed um, analyses or let's say detailed reviews of typical perfumes but if you want to um, you want me to cover something um, specifically for you please let me know and i'll be happy to do so in the meantime please subscribe like and share my channel and i'm sure you would stay styled and stay smiling until then goodbye